Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return worth having. Well, in order to do that today, we are often told that we must be online with an online profile that is providing content, and there is a formula for that, and offline building relationships, and there is a formula for that. The truth is that oftentimes those lines get blurred between what we're doing with a relationship for a client and what we're doing with a relationship with someone who becomes more personal to us. In the truth of the world, we have to know which is which. What is the actual status of your relationship with not only your clients, but your networking or referral partners? Because it is that status and your behavior in front of them, your reputation, that is what's going to give you the business to continue on until hopefully the elation of retirement, or it's going to totally close you down in a way you didn't think possible. And it will start to happen gradually over the course of time. You see, people pay attention more to behavior than what people say. Can you quote everything a person says in a conversation? And maybe in your youth and in your 20s you can reasonably if you're focused on doing it honestly and truthfully. But as you get older into your 50s and 60s, short-term memory can be impacted. And openly long-term memory can also be impacted. And the way that we take care of our health is what we decide to do for ourselves. The way that you handle yourself is not how I'm going to handle myself. What you choose to do with your life is up to you. What I choose to do with my life is up to me. But what I can tell you is that there's plenty of people that will try to tell you how to live your life. Now, if you've solicited the advice, then you probably want the answer or the suggestion or the opinion. But if you have not solicited the advice, then what you have to learn how to hear is, would you mind giving me some advice? What you also have to learn how to say as a person is, would you mind lending me your ear? Would you mind providing me some suggestions? But if you're too arrogant, you won't do that, and you'll lose your whole business. You'll lose your whole reputation if you keep pissing all over other people in front of them. You see, people recognize that pretty quickly, but the grace that they have in their soul will often allow it or enable it, because we all have politically correct behavior. But what people like to do in the shadows is completely not politically correct, is usually people completely illicit and often immoral in front of the Lord, but oftentimes incredibly illegal. And they do it and they play it until they, because they think they can get away with it. 